Look at the following phenomenon. If we gradually cut off the initial fricative in words like spin, stick or skin, the second phoneme loses its identity. So, let's do it. Spin, 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 spin. What is normally regarded as a voiceless plosive consonant seems to become voiced the more portions of the alveolar fricative s are cut off. As a result, we cannot differentiate between a voiceless and a voiced plosive in this context anymore. The difference between them has been neutralized. To combat this problem of neutralization, the Prague School of Phonologists, in particular Nikolai Trubetskoy, introduced an abstract unit, the archiphoneme. It resembles the characteristics of two phonemes which are normally distinct but cannot be differentiated in certain contexts. The spin problem, for example, where the second segment is neither p nor b, could now be handled by means of an archiphoneme, which by convention was assigned a capitalized symbol such as capital P or capital B, sharing all properties common to b or p. And by analogy, we can introduce archiphonemes to represent the plosives in stick and skin. So archiphonemes are reasonable elements to represent two phonemes that differ in one feature. For example, in voicing, as in the spin, stick, skin examples, or in the German phenomenon of final devoicing.